The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Yeah, we're gonna talk about now. We're gonna talk about that breast cancer benefit I did for Mike Mike uh, Betancourt. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, raised three thousand dollars for some chick. That's cool. Nice. Talk about the Mama Awards. We should have got Slay on here. But no, how are you gonna drive him all the way? He's all the way out in. He has a car. Series. Does he? Yeah. How do you think he gets down to? <laughs> how do you think he gets to impress us? But I, I have a feeling he's gonna get some gas money. Or, or, you have to say it. Yeah. Gas money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> do the impression. It's like gas money. I can't do it right you now. Do the it's been a while. Huh? Yes, <laughs> fucking gay. <laughs> Fuck faggots. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And I'm out. That's what I'm talking about. That's a uh, <laughs> slay accepting the mama <laughs> mama award. Yeah. God, how was that? <laughs> a lot of us got drunk. How many? Uh, how many awards are there? A lot. That is a four-hour award show. That is forever. Uh, and it's like all professional. Really? Like I thought it was Modesto. I thought we were just gonna have it at some bar. And the one for best country slash rap singer, <laughs> you know, goes to DJ Bubbles. No wonder why you guys got drunk. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. No, I was a DD. Oh, were you? Yeah, I oh, played so you didn't get night. drunk. No, I didn't. I had You're like I didn't get that drunk. I had two beers, and they were out of Tom Bickle's car. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "You want some beer?" I was like, "Sure." I was like, "I don't want to pay three dollars for why, soda." Why does every older white man have beer in their trunk? <laughs> if your Eddie S just popped out with those Michelobes. <laughs> no, they weren't. Mi- were, they were uh, uh, Mickey's. Mickey, yeah, Mickey's. Yeah, yeah. No, I what wish they that? were Michelobes. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking <laughs> Mickey's malt liquor. Malt liquor. Hey guys, you gonna drink malt liquor out of my trunk? Like that's yeah, not guys, you fucking. Yeah, you, you guys want some beer? I got some beer for you guys. We're like, <laughs> all right, that's cool. They're cold. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I'll drink it. Yeah, that was. Uh, and then I had found out an uh, interesting fact that rockabilly, uh, and or rock and roll and rock and roll was invented in Modesto. I had no idea. Get out of town. Uh, it was like apparently first. Uh, the more you know. Yeah. Ding, 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 whatever. <laughs> uh, Don Maddox and his group and his crew uh, were apparently the first rockabilly group to be played on a radio station back in 1937. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Indeed, that's pretty. That, well, that's pretty cool. That's very yeah, local. Yeah, I know. I mean, no, very it's local. pretty local, but it's not us still. Yeah, we have Chris Isaac. <laughs> that's true. He Wicked the, games. He went the stag. Getting bitches panties off, son. <laughs> that's what that's what Chris Isaac does. Yeah. Mm- I don't know. He's like a broken Elvis. I forget how the song goes. I was trying to think of the song. That's why. His one hit. Exactly how it goes. <laughs> That's all I remember. And then him like lifting some bitch on, uh, on yeah. the beach or some shit. Nobody loves no one. Yeah. That's, is that yeah. it? Yeah. That's it. That, that's it. Getting pussies I'm moist, son. Sexy. Getting them towelette status. Yeah, all them old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you put that on some old chick, but that ain't Skrillex. What is that? Remix that shit. When's, <laughs> when's, when's it going to drop? When's the beat going to drop? I like drop? to sing about the moon and the June and the spring. <laughs> I like to sing it. Whoa, you're talking about <laughs> bitches who are already dead right now. <laughs> you're talking about some necrophilia pussy. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that shit's hot, son. A little booty. A little booty. <laughs> But it's good. You got a bite to <laughs> Take it. Take your torsos off. Put them in the microwave, <laughs> son. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Carry them around like a backpack. <laughs> Replacing grapefruit with whatever meat's not there. Hey, hey, your girlfriend's got big titties. Mine's travel size, bitch. Mm-hmm. What? What? It's like a, it's like a beyond the from- dead pocket <laughs> pussy. You know what I'm saying? This shit used to be real, son. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be real good. That was real bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's not even five minutes into the show. <laughs> See what happens. And we're when talking one about of us, fucking dude, dead bitches. When one of us leaves, and we come back and do a show, it just gets really weird, 
really weird. You like just, real fast. You're the one who went to Nowlands. I went to Nowlands. <laughs> How was that? Nowlands. Dude, it was a blast. Blasty blast. It was a blast. I recommend it to anyone. Yeah? Yes. Well, it, if you're an alcoholic, don't go. Because that's or do go or do if you're gonna <laughs> relapse, you might as well <laughs> relapse. <laughs> like the drunkest city on earth. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty four hour bars. Uh, they give you to go cups, and you go walk outside, and you could drink your drink. You mm-hmm. could go into a convenience store, buy a beer, and then walk out and drink it. No play, no paper bag. <laughs> I don't even know. Why I asked you what did, what did I, what did I text you? I, said, I was like, uh, yeah. When you get back, you don't have to tell me about how New Orleans is because yeah. I remember Hurricane Katrina. And I've seen the princess and the frog. Yeah. Okay, just a bunch of just a bunch of black dudes playing trumpets and a bunch of talking alligators <laughs> who fucking steal TVs. Yeah, that was right? bur- I that know was, what's going on. <laughs> that was Bourbon Street. <laughs> <laughs> Bourbon Street is crazy at nighttime, man. It's uh it's happening over there. So many clubs, hell of people outside. There's like some gay clubs, there's like dudes hanging out, like fucking swinging the dongs at you, trying to fucking get you to come inside. Some gentlemen swing. And then his there's a lot you. of hookers. A lot of hookers and a lot of trannies. Yeah. No, th- this is <laughs> this Punch is funny my because my, my sister was telling me about the hookers. They go in and they'll they'll convince you to go with two of them, and then they'll take you up to the to the hotel or the motel. I'm sure they don't do hotels. And then they'll rob you. They'll steal your phone and then lock you in the room so you can't call the police. And then they <laughs> bounce. How and do they right lock you in the room? I don't have no idea. Maybe that, that old trick where they put the chair underneath the, mm-hmm. <laughs> the knob. They're like, come on, let me out, God damn. That's dangerous though, because like they're gonna encounter uh, a gentleman who knows karate or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, and then they're gonna be like, oh no, oh, we've been duped. <laughs> <laughs> we've been raped. <laughs> no, but yeah, <laughs> they, uh, get my revenge. <laughs> uh, this session is free. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as soon as after, right after she told me that. I see this older dude walking with two black chicks and just over to the motel. You can see him going to the motel. And I was like, sir, don't go, sir. You're hey, it's too far. He was probably thinking you were a hater. He was like, man, motherfucker, I'm yeah. some <laughs> pussy, son. Double stuff. Get <laughs> off me. <laughs> he was Chocolate. Like, he was just walking behind him like, oh, yes, let's do this. And they were like hella trucking it and head flying. Like, Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> and I was like, no, you're no. It's like that Chappelle show. He's like, I finally taste sweet chocolate. <laughs> 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 so that whole the whole trip, I was just wondering, like in the back of my mind, like, did he get robbed? I just have to know. I'm sure he got robbed. I'm hoping he didn't. I ho- I'm hoping that he beat cakes. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm too. Uh, for you, old man, I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping you got that. He had three way. Is it true that as soon as you land in New Orleans, you automatically get herpes? Is that like, do you yeah. feel it coming upon well, you? Well, it's not. It's not Africa, so. What? Oh, no, no, that's AIDS. What Sorry. the fuck are you talking about? I'm getting them mixed up. I'm getting them mixed up. Mm. No, but it is super humid over there. You don't imagine, I imagine Eric in the background going, <laughs> the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, uh, there's, it's, it's, it's Louisiana. There's a lot of black people there. Well, yeah. But they're so much better than ours. What do you mean? So much better because they're all nice. <laughs> he's in, now he's like they're all nice. <laughs> now he's like, like motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers are crazy, <laughs> dude. They're hella nice, but they work. At, <laughs> you know how we have Caltrans workers, yeah, and they're all Mexican, yeah. Over there, they're all black. Okay, yeah. So what you just said, I told everyone that that Louisiana's blacks are Mexicans, pretty much. What the, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? With I don't know, man. I it's just, true. Just, man. I'm just making observations and I'm relaying. So yeah, what I'm gonna I saw I'm gonna there. see some black guy just eating a burrito. You're from Louisiana, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to go down this road anymore. You you started the road. You started driving. And you put a cap on it. <laughs> so we're gonna stop. Fucking. Let's Nobody just start talking about those white devils, right? <laughs> <laughs> How I hate the white man and stuff. Those old white guys. Who, uh Love prostitutes. Well, <laughs> prostitutes. They, no, and we went on a swamp too. The swamp tour was uh-huh. fucking awesome. Saw some alligators. Some alligators. That's where that's where alligators would live. In the swamp. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it's like you're, the, all, it's just, you're acting like uh, like we went to the swamp. Like 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 you're gonna throw me for a curve. There were no gators. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> no, they were on the street and they were reading newspapers. <laughs> That's cool, yeah, man. Like, you see old, some big ones? or old ass. No. It was like little baby ones like that big. I mean, there was only one that was like, he's, the guy said it was like six foot long. But it was, it <laughs> took off under the water as soon as we got it to it. Some guy in an alligator suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's dry right now. We got a hard oh, that alligator over there. You see that big old alligator? That's an alligator over there. Big old Cajun dude. He's a big ass Cajun dude. He had his, <laughs> yeah. He's on the Taurus. He only you, had one leg. You walk in, you walk in. They think, like, oh, let me give you a tour of the place. You see that swamp? Yeah. Alligators live there. <laughs> tour over. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. That's what I paid. paid twenty dollars for this. He only had one leg, and he did not explain why he lost his leg. I was like, "Did alligator take your leg off?" No, nah, I got an accident <laughs> with an alligator. <laughs> an alligator <laughs> called my wife. <laughs> 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 that was a bad accident. Bad accident. <laughs> they really do talk like that. That's crazy. Well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody else talk like that though. Cajuns, man. Yeah. Dirty, stinky Cajuns. <laughs> the whole time he was telling us, like, how he didn't give a shit about us. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, Welcome I, don't know, you folks, get eaten by an I only care about number one. Number one, folks. I only care about number one. I say myself. Oh, I don't have to swim. If I find you, I, I just got to swim faster than you. And that's I'm, I'm okay. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm glad I am on this boat with you, sir. <laughs> this is, uh, is going to be fun. Let's go see some alligators. Why did you lose your leg? <laughs> <laughs> Should have asked him that. That's probably why all he cared about was <laughs> yeah. number one. He's like, I only got yeah. one leg. Yeah, you didn't swim fast enough, obviously. <laughs> he took number one leg. Number one leg. Dude, if I only had one leg, do I have fucking sweet ass Mega Man features? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a fucking tentacle. You know what I mean? That'd be sick, son. You know what I mean? A fucking sword. So you kick on someone in the leg? face, you slash him. Why don't you do uh, Planet Terror and put like a big ass machine gun on your leg? That's too much. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, tentacles and a sword. <laughs> tentacles tight, son. Enough. You'd be like fucking swimming and shit. You can't swim with a big ass heavy machine gun. Just one. I leg. can barely probably not even lift that shit. Like, oh fucking goddamn it. Just one leg going. <laughs> yeah. You're just going in circles. Like he like. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Is he going down a drain? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Whirlpools, whirlpools. That's a yeah. whirlpool, dad. <laughs> Be tight. I just cut off the other leg, and then I'm fucking tentacle man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My son is horrible. We were watching Teenage Mutant Mut- 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 Ninja Turtles, yeah. and there's like these mutant squirrels, and they got rid of them by like draining them. And my said, like that. He's like, is that whirlpool? I was like, oh. Sh- I almost, I was almost yeah, like mutant is. squirrels. How frivolous! But as it gets, it's a show about mutant turtles. Yeah, mutant <laughs> turtles. <laughs> it's like that's retarded mutant squirrels. Retarded. Fuck out of here. <laughs> what are the their senseis of fucking weasel? What's this? I don't I don't like this. <laughs> this is all wrong. All wrong. All wrong, all god wrong. damn it. This new movie is gonna be terrible. It's all wrong. It'll be turtable. <laughs> oh I need to Boom. <laughs> But um <laughs> pour it. Pour it. <laughs> pour it real slow. Pour it real slow. <laughs> what the fuck is Apple Droz? <laughs> Did you say Juice, apple juice. juice and Drew at the Drew, same. What yeah. the hell, is Apple juice? Drew, Drew, Drew juice. What the fuck is Apple juice? What the fuck is this Rick James juice? I need Apple drink. It's green. It's all right. You all right? You back in society now? We're not in New yeah, Orleans anymore. Orleans. I know. I'm not po- in the fucking Matrix anymore. That's pretty much what New Orleans is. Oh. I wish some, I had more time. Some oh, some light skinned black dude was like blue pill, red pill. You take the blue pill, you just in you know, downtown New Orleans all of a sudden. You're like, where <laughs> yeah. the fuck am I? <laughs> the old phone rings. Ba-da-ding. Do you want to go on a swamp tour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go on a swamp tour? No. <laughs> the most fun thing about that, yeah, we only saw like three alligators. Yeah. They're mostly small ones. But the the <laughs> the thing that was the most fun was when we got back on the bus and <laughs> the window was shattered. It, 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 we were trying to figure out what happened. Like, I'm pretty sure the window wasn't like that when we were first went to the place, to the swamp. And <laughs> the lady's like, I don't know what happened. I was just sitting here. I didn't, I didn't hear. There was somebody doing the lawn, and it might have, <laughs> a rock might have hit it because they had that wee whacker. If I was her, like, I, if I was, a, like, a New Orleans resident, I would blame all of my misfortunes on Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> Current or past. It was Katrina, goddammit. Like, you gained like 100 pounds. Fucking Hurricane Katrina, <laughs> man, goddammit. 
This is just affecting me still, you know what I'm, I'm trying, saying? <laughs> I'm trying to get hurricane proof, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy robbed my wallet. Oh, look at Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. Got him mental. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody started taking <laughs> off, and then the windows start breaking. Yeah. And just, like, landing on That's the, Katrina. That's Katrina. Uh, that's Katrina. <laughs> Katrina's daughter. That's a warning <laughs> shot. <laughs> it's like, what? And so I had to stop the bus, and then they're, like, trying to knock out the glass. Like, <laughs> shoes and shit. Jesus, <laughs> they had like a box underneath it. Yeah, and, but yeah, it was yeah, it was. But fun. no, no, no. Uh, talk about the food. You want me to talk about the food? Oh, beignets, dude. Beignets are so good. They're so good. Hey, this could be. You know, this could be what? This could be their old or old segment. Oh, uh, where we're talking about food. Yeah, that well, was my segment. What was it called? I don't. Oh yeah, crepe me gently. Crepe me gently. Yeah, crepe me oh, gently. Crepes? Oh, crepes with beignets. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> we haven't done that segment in forever. That's because uh, <sighs> it's it was yeah. really just me just talking about like my I ate a sandwich one time and just <laughs> me trying to hold back my nut like. <sighs> oh, it was so good. It was roast beef. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna come. <laughs> Put a cap on it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just I don't know. We just stopped doing it. I, I juice baby. Oh. <laughs> no, but uh, I've never like I've always, that's like the one thing you go to that that specific hotel restaurant. I forgot what it was called, uh, and you order beignets with powdered sugar. Oh, at a restaurant? Yeah. Well, there uh, I went to the cafe. It's called uh, Cafe um, Dumont or something like that. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's yeah, the one yeah. Steve Barkley told you to go to, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. It's, it's cool. It's been around for over two hundred years, and it's been open twenty four hours a day for over two hundred years. Except for when the hurricanes hit, yeah, was yeah the only yeah. time because they had the they made them close. Yeah, of course. But, it's good, but it, man, those shit, those hella good. It's just like sweet. It's donuts. Like, yeah, yeah, dude. It's like it's like really flu- They're really fluffy. They're like um, say slow. They're really fluffy. Ooh, what are you doing? You oh, dirty God, talking baking? bitch. Just baking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. And they have a hell of powdered sugar on them. Yeah, uh, like, honestly, that's the thing. It's like I'm not a fan of pow- like the powdered sugar is weird to me. I, I don't. What? I know, right? It's weird. You just re- threw me for a fucking loop. I don't eat powdered donuts. I don't like powdered. Ju- <laughs> exactly. Because there's always like. Because I don't eat anything that like leaves too much evidence. You know, like <laughs> just get done eating. No, <laughs> what you're talking about? <laughs> it's powdered sugar. That's cocaine. I have a problem. <laughs> well, the good thing about it is you can't tell how many you've had. Wait, just what? Like, just powdered sugar on you. We're like, yeah, it was just from one. Oh, really? Yeah. So I could be like, uh, I I just had one. It was just half a one. So, it's like, sir, you're, here here's your bill. It's all two hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it was a very expensive one. <laughs> Living life to the fullest. <laughs> You got a bank account for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, this food is awesome over there. <laughs> awesome. You we, like you think San Francisco seafood is good? Like no. No, this shit is awesome. Like I was I was in love immediately. They got po boy. Po yeah, boy. Yeah, the shrimp, the shrimp po boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty crawdad. much just a sandwich. Deep fried crawdad. Deep fried crawdads. And they put crystal hot sauce on everything, which is awesome. That's my favorite. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah. It's my favorite. Just tastes like vinegar. Yes. That's all it tastes. I don't taste any other notes. I love it. I just, ugh. I, I guess in my soup, whatever. Like, this is turning into just, like, in us talking soup, about your soup. soup. Yeah, yeah, because I like vinegar uh, vinegar uh, portion. Like, kind of like when you put lime in soup, yeah. too. So Welcome to thing. Soup Talk with Nick and Saul. Ah, this, on this episode, we're talking about crystal hot sauce and soups. <laughs> uh, I prefer it in the clam chowder. That's clam my chowder? favorite. Okay, so it turns in like a weird pink. So you're eating pink shit. <laughs> mm. Mm. Next week on uh, Soups with Nick and Saul, uh, we'll be talking about uh, the tomato uh, basil. Tomato basil and uh, the week after that, chipino. <laughs> <laughs> Chipino, I've never even heard Sub- of that before. Sayapano. Yeah, Chippachable. <laughs> My favorite. That's good, man. I'm glad you had a good time uh, yeah, doing that. You were with your sister and your mom. That's good stuff. I've never, like, It's always been a, a place I've always wanted to go. You have to go there, man. It's you like Vegas without the gambling, I'm assuming. Oh, no, there's gambling there. <gasps> Dude, they had they had Booking slot. my ticket? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. I just, <laughs> There's no gambling over there at all. No, they have slot machines inside bars. 
<laughs> There's gambling. So it's just me gambling, eating fucking beignets, beating up alligators. <laughs> Beaten off. I was like, <laughs> me just like I'm just imagining if I was on that swamp tour. Why are you stripping down? So that motherfucking that medium sized one gave me the eyeball. Let's do this, motherfucker. <laughs> Come back out with some sick ass fucking alligator skin boots. <laughs> See that? Mm. Alligator. Why, son? Alligator. And then here you go, Danelle. I made you a purse. <laughs> it's got the fucking alligator head on the fucking. Yeah, head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just saw a pair of uh, a pair of shoes. Somebody posted a picture on on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Alligator shoes, and the eyeball was on there. Dude, and I was like, mm, too much, maybe. No, I was at an open mic. At I was at a. Oh fuck, what was it? It was a touch of class. Uh-huh. It was a. It was a. It was a black room, and uh, this old black guy in the front. Had some styling ass alligator boots, and I nobody pointed it out <laughs> except me. Yeah, of course. I was like, "You look like an old school pimp right now." That shit is tight. <laughs> and then he started doing like this dance that he could only do with alligator boots on. I'm like, "Oh, that's so uh, cool." You got was that the alligator slide? It's oh, so cool. Shit, I couldn't like I, I wouldn't have enough flavor to do that shit. <laughs> I can't sport alligators. So flavor, <laughs> flavor, <laughs> flavor or. <laughs> the flavor of alligator. Oh man! So how was your uh, how was your benefit? Oh, it wasn't my benefit. It was for uh, I. I uh, f- well, you were on the bill. I was filling in for Anthony de Guzman, uh, as people know as <gasps> Jr. The Guzman didn't show up. No, he uh, he had a par- He caught was a it parasite. Louis Guzman. In the- Louis Guzman. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> he had a parasite he caught in the Philippines from eating food. Those damn Filipinos. <laughs> he was Filipino. Those damn Filipinos. Taking out their own kind. Getting everybody all sick and shit. <laughs> it's like if you drink water in Mexico. You're not you're not a, you're not Those supposed to. Damn Mexicans and their stupid water. <laughs> Parasites. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing a bit here. <laughs> Where I hate every race. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of a sudden you're Mexican. Uh, but when people ask, like, are you Mexican? No, nah, I'm white. No. Larson. Oh. Larson's not a Mexican name. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's my, that's not my real name. All right. Alias, bro. Alias. Alias. It's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, no, we raised a lot ben of money. Ben wife. Mike Betancourt had texted me asking me to be on the show uh, last minute. I was like, of course. Honor. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did really well. A lot of a lot of the people there had never been to a comedy show before. Uh, well, because it's a benefit. So yeah. It's like, yeah, we'll just go for it. It's a benefit. We raised over $3,000 that night. For her, nice. It's good stuff. Signed a poster. How many people were on the bill? Betancourt hosted. I opened, which was to Guzman spot. Then Christian Frisk. She's one of the real housewives of Real Linda. And then uh, it was Jimmy. Jimmy Earl, good guy. Uh, he started flips and beaners. Now he's on. There goes the neighborhood. He's taking me to Arizona in December. And then uh, Stephanie Garcia closed it out. She crushed. She did really well, and uh, yeah. raised all that money. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. It's a lot more. I think I had a lot more fun. It was a lot more loose, just because I knew what it was for. It wasn't just for me getting paid mm-hmm. or for me getting mic time. It was actually somebody benefited. You know, like it probably paid a bill. You know yeah. what I mean? That's nice, man. Yeah. That's so like, to be able to check your hand benefit. and stuff. Yeah, it was good stuff. I I wanna if if I could just do benefits, like that'd be I'd cool. Be, that'd be cool, man. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. So how was the crowd? Since it was like not like. Well, it was a Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. And they were pretty good for a Tuesday night. You know, it's usually open mic night. People don't want to drink as much because it's a Tuesday night. I got to go to work tomorrow, you know, stuff yeah. like that. So it was really cool. That's good seeing a bunch of drunk people. No. Well, that's that's a good thing about Friday through Sunday shows because usually people are just like, woo, fucking, we're letting our pussies down. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, we're drinking tonight. <laughs> See you later, pussy. <laughs> I'll probably give you to somebody later. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's how that's how they give pussies to people. Yeah. <laughs> that's for you. Do you think she was upset when I did that? Who? Arrows. <laughs> did Arrows when I did that? No. Just like, oh, like she's promiscuous. No. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, yes, you do. <laughs> she was just like. She did it all mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Nobody knows what we're talking about. You did that at an open mic at Open Mic Tuesday, uh-huh. and one of the comics was she talking or is just you were just you were just riffing. 
Yeah, it was just ri- <laughs> you just it riffing. was the lead into the to my mom. Yeah, you just yeah, yeah, it was a leading. You were just <laughs> yeah, you're just riffing, and then she's uh yeah, she's she's cool. really I got her back for you because she was I don't know what the hell she was saying to you. No, I was because uh, this is how I was like because I was just trying to. This was before my mm-hmm. set. I was like, <laughs> just like I wasn't even thinking about my set because yeah. I had everything written down. So it was just like yeah, and then like she said. Hey, Saul, you. I was like, what? <laughs> and then apparently people started laughing, and I was like, all right. I, <laughs> I just remember Nick going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when she did all that shit to me, I should have been like, Ugh. Yeah. It, oh, it, it itches. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't know. Whatever. Like Whatever. Taffy is just. Doesn't even matter. Current events. Current events. It's been a while, man. It's been a while since we've done this show. We're into current events. Okay, current events. A British underwear company has come oh, out with a pair of good. underwear that filters out a fart. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Does it hand to God? Does it? Does it have like powder in the ass or something like that? That's already on my Christmas list. <laughs> It's just like a puff of cloud comes up behind No, you. it's uh, what it has is the fart filtering underwear called Shreddies. Shreddies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you shred that ass. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> there's a carbon Ooh. cloth called uh, Zorflex in the rear panel. So it holds. It, Zorflex. It hold there's like a carbon pad the in the back. fart in there? It doesn't hold the fart. I just think like. Or is it like an air filter? I think it's just like an air filter. <laughs> That's like, all it is. It's just, and I don't know why people find I'm, this. I'm surprised it's not made by Glade. Yeah, like Glade. <laughs> as you fart, it just, but like, that'd be funny if. What if, is that? Is that cinnamon? Is that cinnamon? It does that, those plug-in things where if you fart, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yeah. Cinnamon. Oh yeah, every three seconds is. <laughs> and it is selling like hotcakes in the United States. Hot that is their number one clientele. Their business has gone up 400%. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it to males or for females? It's for both. For both? I bet you there's more females on yeah, that. Yeah, obviously. I can't fart in here. Oh, my God. And like, one of the things was like, you're silent but deadly could just be silent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking good slogan, That's bro. a good-ass slogan. It could That's just good. be silent. You better hit those motherfuckers up. No, no, that's what's what's one of their things. Oh, that's one of their things. You're silent but deadly could just be silent. No, no, I I wish I was that clever. (laughs) (laughs) Because if I was the campaign manager, you be farting, you can't be smelling it. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) That'd be my slogan. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) I just imagine a a shitty ass fucking uh like thing of some guy just yeah. farting all the time, like, man, I oh, wish somebody yeah. would take care of this flatulence. <laughs> well, now you can for three <laughs> payments of five ninety nine. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> then like he just him goes, oh, I farted. And like, oh, but they can't smell it. And then just two bitches yeah. around his arm. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Zoroflex. <laughs> did you just fart? No. no. <laughs> well, actually, yes, I did. But you can't smell it, can you? Oh, cheeky monkey. <laughs> If I help my situation in the front, just put the carbon filter on the front. So that way your dog stops smelling my wiener. <laughs> they just, like, you don't, you don't they just smell your they junk again? They start growling at me and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh shit, I better take this off. <laughs> they start smelling. Did like, they oh, smell your junk see. again when you came in? Only your your, your female dog. Cause maybe because she's in heat. Yeah. So that's ah. a dick. I don't, that ain't no dog dick, but that's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Smells of the dog. I'm like, it. hey, stop it. Stop it before you get me tempted. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to her? We're, I'm petting her in my own way. <laughs> I'm petting her on the inside. Shut <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dog needs love too. <laughs> she smells another dog on you. That's why she's getting jealous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was at Aunt Kay's house last night. He bit me on the hand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Aunt Kay's dog bit me on the hand. We were but just hanging out. Did it you or did it bite you? No, he gave me a warning bite. I, like It kind of it kind of broke skin. Like You see that mark right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's from his bike. Yikes. Zoinks. I thought it was, I was like, did it break skin? I was like, it's not that bad. But he could have <laughs> broken ran skin. Out the, ran out of the house. You need to put that dog down. You need <laughs> to put that dog down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Anthony was like, stop being a fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, he, he was like, fucking no, stupid. like, drunk ass Chris was like, Chris Shara, he was just like, hey, you know, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. Which is cool. <laughs> he's talking to you. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we don't let ourselves get bit by dogs. <laughs> all right. 
We don't do that. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but uh, I dig it, man. Damn. Yeah, whatever, man. I got I bit know. in the face by a dog one time. I got bit in the back. On the back? Yeah, I was running away from the dog, and I then he bit the me on the back. It, it jumped up and it got me like right there, and I had a scratch. Right here. No, the dog fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, no, I, the it, dog uh, fucked me. No, no, not fucked me. I, I, I would. I don't think I'd be a con. I think I'd be. I'd be <laughs> like. I'd be like some. I'm not a bottom. Some architect. I'd be like, you know, like by like by day I am like a normal guy, but by night I draw porno like pornos, <laughs> like horrible stick figure pornos just to to take away my crying. <laughs> you know, just weird shit. Yeah. Wearing wigs, putting lipstick on. I guess that's, that's like you know they've been scarred by something. If a dog, that's pretty much what happens when a dog fucks you. You do weird shit. <laughs> Psychologically, I'm assuming I'm not a psychologist, <laughs> but you got to be doing weird shit. Like that's how I imagine yeah. cross dressers. You know, you got to vent. Every cross dresser probably hasn't got fucked by a dog, but there's got to be like one out of nine. One out of nine. <laughs> <laughs> don't quote me on those. Where, where are you getting your numbers, bro? I don't where know. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> we we, vent, we trail about off so hard. We, that's why we farts. need those fucking uh, those, <laughs> yeah. those headphones. So where where Jeff, could be like, Jeff could be like, "What the off. fuck are you guys <laughs> talking about?" Yeah, well, this is a, this is a coffee mug. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to uh, move it forward. <laughs> <laughs> current events current events all right fart diaper fart diaper <laughs> Corey gerald's 30 was arrested after allegedly punching a police horse several times in the neck jesus <laughs> christ <laughs> Get anger management God. <laughs> <laughs> stupid horse neck i want like he's just like oh i could take him <laughs> it's just a big ass horse. I'll take him. <laughs> you punch him in the neck. That's all you got to go do. Just, just stay away from the backside, bro. They can't hit you. <laughs> Apparently, the man was uh, yelling curse words at the horse, got into a fighting stance, and then attacked the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you bastard. I'll fight you with one hand. Maybe a horse killed his family. You know? You don't know. Mm. Horse came in with some atomic yeah. guns. You know? You know what? He's raped his wife. Like that fucking horse. In the Godfather, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe his dad was Mr. Hands. Mr. Hands, oh, <laughs> Mr. Ed was his grandpa. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Hands. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes your dad gets fucked to death by a horse. <laughs> That's not the way to go. <laughs> oh my it's god, not the way. he was the good man. Oh, uh, viewers, if you haven't seen the Mr. Hands video, watch it's it. Pretty much what we or just don't. described, or don't, or don't. Just have someone describe I mean, it to you. If you like watching YouTube videos, like watching Rihanna songs and stuff like that, then you probably don't want to watch this Mr. Hands video. <laughs> what if they like both though? They're just like they're just like why they're like listening to "I Need You to Stay" Mr. while Hands. Mr. Hands is getting fucked in the ass to death by a horse. Is his name Mr. Hands? I don't know. What's the or video's is it the called? Horse? Why would the horse? The horses don't have hands. Mr. I don't know, Mr. Hands. His like name would be Mr. Horsecock that kills a man to death <laughs> with his cock. He's a Native American horse. <laughs> yeah. Chief, Chief, Chief Horsecock killer. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Chief one who's tears asshole. <laughs> yeah, Chief who punctures small intestine. <laughs> <laughs> The police horse, Mr. George. Uh, Mr. George. That's what it's George the second. Uh, he was not harmed. <laughs> he was not no, harmed. he was not harmed. <laughs> like the guy was like, "Fuck you, motherfucker!" <laughs> blah, blah, blah. The, horse the like, horse is probably talking. She like, "What? You hit like what? a bitch. You hit like a bitch. I'm a horse, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> this is horsepower. Yeah, horsepower. Horsepower. The fucking <laughs> cars. Yeah, make the connection. <laughs> this big ass horse neck. Like, like yeah, Berger. we just we just assume that this police horse was like Mr. Ed because his name was Mr. George. He could talk. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is what gums. I can't do the horse. Can you <laughs> show me? I can't do the voice. <laughs> oh, I'm still trying. You keep trying to do it and shit. Yours was better. Yours was better. I can't do it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You just have an itchy nose. I just have an itchy nose. I can't even do it. I don't, I don't think maybe, maybe like the guy maybe the guy was eating an apple. Uh. <laughs> you know? And then the horse was like, I'll, I'll take that. 
yeah, yeah. It was the equivalent of you got a tail light out. You know what I mean? Like you get pulled over, you got a tail light out, and then it just fucking hits your light. I'll He's like, died over here. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> these scenarios are fucking pinpoint. <laughs> you guys eat the apple. It's just, <laughs> fucking horse. <yeah. laughs> Did you want this? How you fuck a piece of <laughs> shit? <laughs> Jesus. Current events. <laughs> In Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Des Moines. Des Moines. Des Moines. <laughs> traffic, traffic was being disturbed for hours because of a wow. mysterious goat that was loose. <laughs> what? Why I, is it a mysterious goat? That's what I'm saying. It was a mysterious goat that was loose and kept traffic, kept diving into traffic on the road. <laughs> this isn't a, this is a, no mystery. The goat was suicidal. Yeah. I didn't understand like mysterious. My though. life see, is bad. When like people was staring at people like this. <laughs> yeah, that's why. You see, I even uh, I even put it in quotes. Mysterious goat. <laughs> <laughs> mysterious goat. <laughs> Jesus, he uh, the goat evaded uh, police for hours until he was captured by animal oh, control. Evaded. That's where the mysterious. <laughs> it's like <laughs> fucking Chris Angel. <laughs> fucking. Like, he was mysterious, and, and he's they're making this goat sound like an old school, like nineteen thirties mobster goat. Like you'll never catch me, copper. She yeah. bad. You'll never get me, she. <laughs> yeah, she. What are you gonna do, chop, you know, go, go chop us. You know, I'm just gonna sit here chewing a can, she. Like every cartoon goat, me <laughs> diving into traffic, she. You'll, you'll never get me, his, coppers. Stroking his little beard. I've got my little Asian beard here, see. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> What does it matter what the color of the goat was? Chime in. <laughs> was it a black goat? Yeah, if it was a black goat, I'd be like, yeah, motherfucker, yo, Sam, repping these fucking farms, player. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's it. <laughs> this is a white goat. This is a white this goat. This was a, uh, <laughs> this is a ca- Caucasian goat. He came from a nice white family. He lost <laughs> it down the road. Huh? <laughs> you do the Mexican impression. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He don't even want to do it. It's, it's, this went awry. <laughs> I think this lost its oof. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> there. That's it. Pendejo. If the goat was Mexican, he wouldn't be in Iowa. He'd yeah, be like somewhere in like, California. Get the fuck out of you, goddamn man! It's only white people. <laughs> fuck. Trying to fuck me. <laughs> it's a fucking goat. <laughs> yeah, he works on a farm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yo. <laughs> Fucking goat. Have you seen that commercial? That Geico commercial? Is it? A, I think it's a Geico commercial, where he's like, "Did you know that <laughs> that uh, uh, old McDonald was a, a horrible speller?" And then it it goes to him, and he's like, "Spell cow," and he's like, "C O W." E-I-E-I-O And they're like wrong He's like Dag nabbit And then he just walks off the stage I, like, This I, is a great commercial You like that commercial? Yeah Alright E-I-E-I-O Alright That's how you spell Tashira's name <laughs> I remember you're like, like We spelled Tashira wrong on the poster It's like T-E-C-H-E-I-E-I-O Some shit like that I don't know You're like Is it cause he's a farmer? I was like uh, and, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love Chris. Whatever. Chris is awesome. He would have done a better Mexican impression than you would have. Goat I'm heads. Not, I'm not Mexican. <laughs> yes. Oh, all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Huh, okay. I see, I flipped it on you. All right. Current events. This is our uh, fourth and last one. Uh, mm. Neil McArdle, McArdle of London was sentenced to a year in jail because he called in a bomb threat to a venue that he forgot to book on his wedding day. What? So, like, is he he trying to get, like, empty seats? (laughs) No, like, it was like... I can't get reservations, so I'm going to make sure nobody's sitting at this table. No, it was like he he booked the date. He told his wife that he or his fiancée that he booked the date, but he never booked the date. Oh, so And instead of telling her... And he drives there... The day of. And then people are running out like, oh, I guess we can't come here. Uh Uh-oh. No, the day of, instead of telling his wife that he didn't book it, the day of, he just calls in a bomb threat on that place. And then she was, uh, his her, his fiance, Amy Williams, was left standing in the street in her wedding dress while the building was being evacuated. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. 
That's uh This is this is fucking classic. He's like, babe. <laughs> <laughs> this is for a wedding. Yeah. Is this what you're saying? No, the, he he's the groom. Yeah, so they were supposed to have this place. Yeah, to and get he married he in. never told her that he didn't not end up booking it. And he didn't, you know, he never booked it. He just called a bomb threat the day of the wedding. Oh like, my god! Why not just have it somewhere else? How did they find out it was him who who made the call? Huh? How did they find out it was he him? He ended who made up the call? admitting it. Oh. The thing is, it's like he's like, hey, aren't you glad we didn't? He's come going here to earlier. great fucking lengths. Like this bitch must be crazy, because like if you think about it. Uh, he could have like, oh, babe, I didn't, I didn't book the venue. We can get married anywhere else. Yeah. And any wife would be like, ah, oh, it's whatever. It's my wedding. Like, let's do it. But like, no, she's like, this gotta be this fucking day. Bridezilla. Yeah. So he's like, what are we gonna do? Oh my we- god. <laughs> bomb threat. There's a bomb under the podium. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a bomb pr- t- attached to the priest. <laughs> he's all doing it like Bane, like yeah. the Bane's <laughs> bomb threat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is it my cue? Oh, oh, you know, you know just because we're on fucking video, I'm all, I'm all giving him that do the Bane impression, eyeballs. Do it. Do the Bane. And you're like, what? what, what? <laughs> are you trying do to... Do the Bane impression, are eyeballs. Are you trying to signal me to do... Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 when I do the cue, that's when you do the Bane. ka <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't just go ka him. I can't do, like, silent signals because I'm on video. I can't just be like... Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do the bane. All right. I'll I'll I'll, I'll see here all goddamn day until I do the bane. Uh-huh. Dance, monkey. Are you drawing the penis? Oh, you like that penis, don't you? That was more Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> he fish. said it was a fish. <laughs> what kind of fish is that? But that's not a fish. I mean, that's not how my wiener doesn't look like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's not scaly. <laughs> it's my shit has gills, son. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fucking do the bane. Uh, ah, yeah, we're done. Do the bane. Okay, we're done. You do the bane, and I'll do the bane. <laughs> I'll do the bane. You do the bane. You do the bane. I'll do the bane. Fuck. No, this don't start that We're fucking. Again. Okay, do the bane. No, we're d- we're done. Have Eric do the bane. Eric, come in here and do the bane. <laughs> you want to do the bane? <laughs> You're not allowed. To bang. He's not allowed to bang. <laughs> uh, uh, let's hear producer Jeff do the bane. <laughs> He's doing it right now. <laughs> we're talking. About, we're really just talking <laughs> to imaginary <laughs> people right now. <laughs> we're like, who are they talking to? Oh, that's uh, it's our. Those are our producers. Producer Jeff and uh, sound technician. Eric. Sound technician. Yes. Okay. I just don't want to get it <laughs> off. Sound technician. Yeah. Okay. So so like that's all current events. I'm, I'm shooting. I'm, we're flying blind now. Are we really? <laughs> yeah. The show's over. We have over. no structure. <laughs> the show's over. <laughs> Is that, uh, does producer Jeff have uh, anything that he wants us to talk about? Do the bane. <laughs> <laughs> he told me to do the bane. <laughs> I forgot. How to, I see. I haven't done it for so long. I forgot how to do it. You did it uh, like two mics ago. Two. Find my inner bane. All right. All right. I'm so channeling myself. You're all juiced up on steroids, right? You're mad at Batman. All right. I'm mad at Batman. He stole your favorite teddy bear. Uh-huh. Okay. You know. Yes. You're supposed to be Spanish in the comic books, but in the movie you're British for some reason. You sound like Sean Connery. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. People of St. Luke's Baptist Church, this is your liberation. One of you is the trigger man, <laughs> and there's a bomb in the podium. There you go. Hey! This is my vein. Is that so fucking hard? It was. I had was to think about what to say. I was stalling like you, 10 you minutes. You so hard to go. People of Saint Luke. See, I don't have a, I don't have a deep enough voice, so it just sounds like, like Bane's son. Like <laughs> people of, 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 or like a Jewish guy. <laughs> yeah, I can't even do a Darth Vader in this bitch. Like, ah, look, I am your father. This is just me with bad asthma. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
my mom will pick me up after <laughs> after soccer practice. I am not really playing. Oh, I am the towel boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Do you have any shows coming up? Uh yes I do. I um uh, I have a show. <laughs> no no. Uh next month I will be all weekend at Laps Unlimited. Uh I will be hosting for the very talented Carl Above featuring Cole Black. It will be November eighth through eleventh. And then November thirteenth, I will be opening for the very awesome Larry Bubbles Brown. In Redwood nice. City. What about you? I have a show tomorrow, but this won't be out. That's at 417 Theater, and then also November 8th. Also at 417 Theater, and that is at 8 o'clock. Come out, people. Come out to 417 Theater on November 8th. You need 8th. to start hustling more, man. Huh? I mean, I'm sorry. I, I just breaking down, but... Yeah. You, Roberto, K Sizzle. <laughs> At the same venue. No, you guys did this fucking show last month. It's the same show, but with me and Lloyd. You're doing the same show, but you guys like football themed. So yeah. these are gonna be football jokes. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, a lot of these Modesto comics think that four one seven is the only place that they could do comedy on a f- No. You need to you gotta break out of that, start doing I, I help know. I help That's you. Why I, need to talk, I need to talk to Jimmy Earl, man. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean he, it's the whole thing with Jimmy is is you you through recommendation and you have to be able to perform and then he has to like your comedy. Okay. So if he sees Where you, do perf- I perform? Uh, I gotta go out the sack, yeah. Yeah, you gotta go out the sack, and if he's there, I got I I got in through a recommendation of uh of Diego. Okay. That's how me and uh, yeah. And uh, I I could recommend you, but you have to perform. I have to perform. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I always put my good foot forward. Yeah, like if 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 he would have seen if if, if any promoter, and it's not just Jimmy Earl, mm-hmm. I don't want to put Jimmy Earl on the spot, but it's any promoter, you have to be their cup of tea, or even not really their cup of tea, because there's some promoters in this area. Yeah, because he's never seen me perform at all. Yeah, who who will put on other comics just because I don't like you know some promoters put on inferior comics. Yeah, like you know you know, and. uh just to make themselves look better. Yeah, I know. I, know what you're um, about. I don't like doing that. I like sometimes I'll headline a show, or sometimes I'll host, or I'll put my friends on. But I, if I had the money, I would put on any, like, like I, the Cheryls, the uh, Betancourt. I think Betancourt's very funny. I think Cheryl's very funny. Uh, Ellis Rodriguez. I've put on Ellis Rodriguez. I've on headline. It's just, it's whatever. It's just you have to be able to perform. They have to like you. They have to like your comedy. They don't really have to like you, but they have to like your comedy. Yeah. So it's one of those things. So don't just settle for 417 because, to be honest, 417 is fine, and I, I've tried to work with that theater, but it's just, it's honestly a, cess, it's a, it's a cesspool. I know. It's it's this thing that just sucks Menesta com- comedians in, <clears throat> thinking that they could just settle there. Oh, I'm just going to go do a set at 417 just because it's there. there. Every show. It's easy. But no. Fuck that. You grind, go out to sack, or open your own thing, like the speakeasy. The, uh, uh, by the way, um, that bar opened. Uh, they opened on Saturday. They opened on Saturday? Yeah. Did you talk to him? I have not talked to him. I haven't talked to him in a while. Okay. It's one of those things where... Do you want me to give him a call? I think you have because to Because that would be a good spot. Yeah. His, his name is Jerry, right? Jerry. Jerry Wolf. Yeah. And it's... um. The hell is it? Pl- Whiskey it? Barrel Tavern. Whiskey Barrel Tavern in Stockton. <laughs> yeah. N- is it on Miracle Mile? Dude, it's right across the street from from Impresso. Nice. Yeah. So if we get that place, where do you want to do it? Uh, what do you mean? Like, I mean, what day do you want to do it? I want to do it the week of Thanksgiving. The week of Thanksgiving. Like a Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. Shoot me the number. Okay. And then so we got. I can't believe we just went into like serious conversation, but no, don't ever settle for like. <laughs> I'm not saying don't take the mic time because I'll take mic time at four or seven if I if I don't have anything going on. But don't let that be your number one show. Yeah, you know? I know. Always have it be like uh, like that fat chick you have on call. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> like shit, my plans didn't my go through. I still kind of want my wiener get my wiener wet. <laughs> I'm gonna call Big Bertha. Got her on the speed dial. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I that know. bitch nasty, but she's giving me some attention. That's how you gotta treat three to four one seven. I know, I know. Two shows, two back to back shows at the same place. Boom. And that's that. This whole speech right here that I just gave probably gonna never have me at the four one seven again. But <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Don't edit it out. No, <laughs> this is truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Eric, I don't care. Eric was gonna be on the. Uh, well, he's gonna help out with the show. Yesterday, I didn't even know that. He okay. had like uh, he had some other people on there, some rappers and, and yeah. stuff like that. But I guess they uh, they bailed. Yeah. The the venue. I mean, hey, how how are you gonna have a bar with no bar license? They don't have a bar license still. No, nobody's serving alcohol over there. Fantastic, awesome. All right. <laughs> That's our show. My name is Saul Trujillo. My name is Nick Larson. We'll see you guys next time. Totally. Oh, Sophia was Nick and Saul.